Hey everybody, we're here at the Van Show talking to my friend Martha Wells. Say hi Martha. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? I'm just fine. Awesome, awesome, possum. Now Martha, we want to know a little bit about you. So can you first tell us where you're from? I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Now Martha, you are an author. Mm -hmm. How early on did you start writing? I started writing very early on. I liked to write when I was a kid. I liked to, uh, I always liked the monster movies. They didn't have cable back then. They just had a few channels. And we had an independent station in Fort Worth that would show all the Godzilla movies Ooh. and they would show Land of the Giants. So I was kind of writing fanfic for those movies. At the time I didn't know what fanfic was. And I'd draw pictures and make giant maps of Monster Island and stuff <gasps> like that. So I wow, always liked so to cool. write. that's so cool. So you were like world building. You were, you were like yeah, creating I a whole. Yeah, I was. That's so neat. So was your first story a Godzilla story? Back, yeah, when I was in elementary school, pretty much my first story was a Godzilla story. I actually, <laughs> my actual first short story that I finished was probably my first year in college, and it was more of a sword and sorcery story. Ooh, so you, you kind of, you got into fantasy in college? Well, actually I'd been, I mean, I've been writing, I've been reading science fiction and fantasy for a long time. I started when I was a little kid. I used to go, my parents would take me to the Fort Worth Public Library, one of the big branches. And uh, the children's section was right next to the science fiction and fantasy section. And I didn't know you were supposed to make a turn to go to the rest of the children's section at the end of that shelf. I just kept going all the way back to the corner where they had the pulp paperbacks with the, with the, you know, the lurid covers and all the science fiction and fantasy novels. So I read a lot of things I really wasn't supposed to read because I thought I was back in the children's section. <laughs> Like, oh, the, the end of this kid's section, it's, it's got a lot more words it's in like it. It's like, great, yeah. Yeah, these stories are way cooler. Mm. Very excellent. So then, um, when did you decide, this is something I'm going to do, like, I'm going to get something published? I don't really remember. I did read uh, Irma Bombeck. She was a humor writer uh, in the 70s, and she wrote a lot about her real life uh, just in very funny ways, and she wrote about being a writer. So that was kind of my first real inkling that you could be a real person and have a family and live in, a, live in an ordinary house and be a writer. Yeah, oh, so once you realize that, hey, I could, I could be a human yeah. being and a writer at the yes. same time, yeah, my look out world. Yeah, my cousins used to tell me that all books were ghost written and that writers were dead, which was really odd because yeah. we would go to the bookstore in the mall and there would be new books every week, you know, so I kind of wonder where they were coming from. But so I knew that wasn't quite true, but I didn't really, until I read her books, I didn't really realize that writers were just ordinary people and it was a job that you had. So, so like the, the ghost of Charles Dickens is just it, writing just all of writing these new books. all the new books, yeah. <laughs> now, Martha, what book do you have with you today? I have Rogue Protocol. It's the... Uh, Third, uh, they're actually novellas, and novellas are just uh, short novels uh, that are about a third to half the length of a regular novel. And it's put out by Tor.com. And this is the third novella in the Murderbot Diaries series, and it's coming out uh, Tuesday, August the 7th. So what, what is the premise of the Murderbot series? The Murderbot series is about Murderbot, who is a, a security unit. It's a part human, uh, part machine uh, being that's basically used as security for um, mining contracts and uh, sur planetary surveys in a far future world. Cool. And Murderbot is, should be, uh, as a security unit, is supposed to be under control, used by its governor module that controls all its actions. But it's actually been able to hack its governor module. Oh. And so uh, it actually has free will. And the people it's work technically working for do not know that it has free will. And it's assumed in this world that if one of these sec units is able to um, be free, that it will immediately go out and kill all the people, kill all the humans. But uh, Murderbot doesn't want to do that. Murderbot wants to watch the entertainment feed that's being downloaded <laughs> from the satellites. And uh, basically in the, in the first story, Murderbot has a choice whether the people it's, supposed, it's guarding are, are in danger and it kind of has to reveal that it's, it has free will in order to save them. And that's the first book. Wow, that's cool. And that's the one you, you got the Nebula yes, Award for, Yes, I got for, the Nebula right? Award for Best Novella for Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. That's so cool. It is cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so what, would it, what, what, what was it like when you found out you were nominated, and then fast forward to when you got, actually won the award? I found out I was nominated. I was actually at uh, uh, Con DFW in, um, uh, up in Dallas-Fort Worth. And the, one of the things that the Nebula Award is given out by the Science Fiction Fantasy Writers of America, and so the president of the organization calls you to make sure that you accept the, the, the nomination before they release the ballot. 
and I got it. Even I had come back from we had been uh, at the convention, you know, uh, doing panels and like at this this convention, and I came back to my hotel room and I had a, an email from her asking if she could call me, and I got very excited and cried yeah. and everything because I knew that there. You know, she said I, I need to call you uh, and it's something good, and so I knew I kind of knew that that's what it was. And I sent her my phone number, and then about 11 o'clock at night, um, she called, and um, I accepted the nomination. And my husband was angry because I didn't wake him up. He had <laughs> fallen asleep. And I'm having the phone call right there, but he didn't. He was very tired, and he didn't wake up. But, um, wow, it must have been electric, like, like the yeah, whole experience. It was. It really was. And then uh, in May, they, they did the awards. The, the awards this year were held in Pittsburgh. and um, uh, The home of Mr. Rogers. The home of Mr. Rogers. And yeah, it was, and I won, and it, the novella uh, category, and it was very exciting. Yeah, that's super exciting, and I love that you won with a book called Murderbot. Yes, Murderbot. It's, it's all systems read the Murderbot Diaries. Yes, that's that's such a great title, and I like that that the humans are afraid that Murderbot's going to kill everybody, but Murderbot doesn't want to kill anybody. Murderbot doesn't want to kill anybody, regardless of the fact that he's named Murderbot. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, when I originally thought of it, I was working on my last, uh, the novel, the last novel in the Books of the Raxurus series, and I thought, I got this great idea, and I thought it was going to be a short story. And then I, you know, wrote down the idea and, and ended up doing the first five pages. And when I finished the novel that I was working on, I went back to this idea, and I started to work on it, and it was coming together very quickly, and I quickly realized that it wasn't going to be a short story. A short story is usually around 8,000 words at most. Usually magazines like them to be more 5,000 to 8,000 words. And that's, that was a little too short for this. And the length that I thought it was going to be was probably around 30,000 to 40,000 words, which is the, the length for a novella. Yeah, that was, uh, my agent was actually contacted by them uh, to see if I wanted to write the, I wrote the, uh, the magic story for the Dominaria expansion of um, uh, Magic the Gathering for Wizards of the Coast. And yeah, they asked me about that, and it, I looked at what they what they had done online, the other stories that they had online for the previous um, sets, the Planeswalkers, and it was really it looked really cool. And I'd been aware of them for a long time. I'd never played the game, but I'd seen their art. Their art is so beautiful, and uh, Dominaria especially was a very exciting world to write for, and I just really enjoyed it a lot. That's cool. Now, did the so did they they. Did they create the world and then you kind of yeah, fleshed it out? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like writing a story for a movie or a TV series, except it's, it's the world of the card game. And it's, a very, it's basically 25 years worth of story already about these characters. Wow. And I'm, I was actually writing about characters who had been uh, in Dominaria was the first world that they had the, the, where the card game was set. And I was actually writing about characters who had, you know, had these great adventures in the past, and now we were catching up with what they were doing now, and that was a lot of fun. Now, are these are these published in books, or are they? Do you read the story on the backs of the cards? No, it's on it's online. Uh, oh, okay. It's on their website in the magic story section of their website, and you can find my story. The writer Kate Elliott is doing the um, the current story, that kind of is uh, is going to be part of a sequence uh, with different writers. And you could read all the previous stories there too. How cool. There is already a fourth novella for Murderbot and it's coming out in October. Woo. I'm also going to do a novel. I'm working right now, I'm working on a Murderbot novel that's going to be a sequel to these first four novellas. And it's in, and I don't know when it's gonna come out yet. It's not finished. <laughs> it's really weird. I've never had that happen before. Um, two of the Raxura novels came out in the same year, but they were at opposite ends of the year. And these have been coming out, I guess it's about three months apart. Uh, so that's been really exciting, and it feels like as soon as the excitement dies down from the from the previous one, the next one's already getting ready to come out. <laughs> well, Martha, this has been excellent. We're so excited about the new Murderbot novella and the the possible new novel about Murderbot. Well, I, thank you. Yeah, hot dog. I'm excited to read them, and uh, that's about all the time we got. Are you about ready to say goodbye? Yes, we can say goodbye. We can. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye.